everyone, Steve Pittman here, coming to you live on tape from my backyard in Longmont. A few days ago, someone asked me what I hope is going to happen to end this pandemic. First, I hope everyone is focused on flattening the curve. That is, getting the rate of new infections low enough that our local hospitals are not overwhelmed by critically ill patients. That is going to happen if we all do our part to keep ourselves and our families from getting infected. And if we do get sick, to take care of ourselves and our family members at home to the extent possible. Only visiting a doctor when medical care becomes necessary. Many COVID-19 cases are going to be like the flu. We have all had the flu, unfortunately, and know that rest and warm fluids will get most of us through it. But we also know that some percentage of COVID-19 and flu victims are going to get very sick. So we all need to know the emergency warning signs indicating when it is time for one of us to seek urgent medical attention. I am cautiously optimistic that state and local officials have acted quickly enough to ensure that the rate of new infections will stay low enough that everyone who needs urgent medical care can get it. My fervent hope is that I am right. But that all depends on whether you and we uh, shelter in place over the next few months. We certainly plan to do so, and we hope you do too. But second, I hope we all begin to focus on quenching the curve. What do I mean by that? Quenching the curve means driving the rate of new infections down well below the rate at which tests for COVID-19 infections can be conducted. Fortunately, the rate of testing is increasing over time, so the target is moving closer all the time. Still, we must get the rate of new infections way down. But we can do that. If everyone in a family goes home and stays home, having groceries delivered, never leaving the house except to go for walks with other family members, avoiding all contact with other people, if we all do that, then no one in the family is going to get sick. Of course, that is an aspiration and won't be possible for everyone. Still, we must all do everything in our power to drive the rate of new infections as close to zero as we can. And again, that all depends upon whether you and we shelter in place over the next few months. Why is quenching the curve important? Because that is the way our economy will recover as quickly as possible. Once the rate of testing for new infections significantly exceeds the rate of those new infections, we can trace the contacts of the newly infected, identify other people who might have been infected before they become contagious, and get them to self-isolate. When we do that well, the rate of infection drops near zero and everyone can go back to work. Don't get me wrong, considerable vigilance will be required to, until we have a vaccine, so we won't be on easy street, but life will get back to some semblance of normal. That's my hope for the city of Longmont, Boulder County, the state of Colorado, the rest of these United States, and the rest of the world. Music